Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. All right, y'all. The company we're working with today is Carla Me Hair. They sent me over this 26 inch burgundy curly wig. It is 13 by 4 lace. Um, the lace is like a transparent HG type. It doesn't come pre plucked, so you will need to pluck it, but it does come super soft out the box with this beautiful color. Let's get into it. Today I'm going to teach you how you get rid of your red knots and give it a more scalp light. So what you will need is some Color Oops Extra Strength. You can get this from CVS, Walgreens, or Rite Aid. You're going to mix step one with step two and you can shake it up in the bottle or you can add it to your color ball like how I did. And you're going to apply that straight to the knots as if you were bleaching the knots. You're going to apply that all over to the knots. Make sure this doesn't seep too much on the hair because this is color remover. You just want this to be on the knots, but make sure that the knots are thoroughly saturated. And you're going to let this sit for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you're going to rinse that with warm to hot water and you're going to rinse it out using your Dawn dish detergent. And now we're going to actually bleach the knots. I'm using my BW2 powder and 50 volume developer and we're just going to apply that with a plastic knife. You want to use the color oops first just to get the color off and then you want to bleach it afterwards. We do it this way because if you bleach the knots first, your knots will turn pink. So the color oops will prevent that. So you do your color oops first. And then you bleach your knots. So when you bleach it, it actually turns a blondish like color instead of pink. Because we all know if you bleach the knots on the burgundy wig, your knots will turn pink. And we don't want pink knots. We want like a brownish, blondish type color, you know, skin like. So color oops first, then the bleach. I let the bleach sit on the hair for about 30 minutes and now I'm rinsing it off. Don't worry about it looking like that orangish peachy pink color we're gonna put some shimmer lights on it and it's gonna get it right but this is what you want as you can see i'm lifting the hair up now and you can already tell just by being on my glove that it's giving scalp you don't see any red knots and that's exactly what we're wanting i'm gonna wash this wig with dawn dish detergent and then i'm gonna follow up with putting my purple shampoo on the knots and make sure as you're shampooing this wig that you're brushing it thoroughly during the entire process And now I'm going to take my silicone bamboo and we're going to put that all over the hair. We're going to use this as our conditioner. Make sure you brush this thoroughly as well. And when you get done working this through, you're going to rinse it out with the coldest water from the faucet just to seal that cuticle down and we'll be done with this process. Now it's time to install the wig. We'll be using our Ruby Kisses Level 12, the darkest shade in the palette. And we're gonna put that all over the lace on the bottom and the top. And we're gonna seal it with some hairspray.
Now we're just gonna position this wig on her head and then we're gonna sew it down off camera. I've already applied the adhesive in the shape of her hairline. Make sure that you smooth this out as evenly as possible and that each layer turns clear before you apply the next. Today we did four layers. I'm only going to show you one. Our last layer has turned clear, so let's go ahead and lay that lace down. Now we're going to use our blow dryer interchanger between warm and cool air on high speed for about a minute. And then once we get done blow drying the lace, we're going to pre-part it off and then tie it down using our elastic band. We left that elastic band on for about 10 minutes and now we're going to take it off and cut off all our excess lace. We've already parted out our baby hair, so now we're just gonna lift that hair up to get it out the way. And we're gonna use our Hair Flex hairspray and we're gonna spray that all over the hairline. Her lace was pretty much already blending, so all we needed was a flexible hole hairspray. Now we're gonna tie that down with our elastic band. We are going to use our wax stick and our hot comb just to lay everything down and position it the way we want it to fall. Now it's time to take that elastic band off and as you can see that lace is melted and now it's time to get into those baby hairs. You know we're going to comb them out from that mold, cut them down with our eyebrow razor, curl them upwards using our pencil flat irons and then we're going to use our foaming mousse to swoop them into place. Y'all already know the process. Keep on watching.
And now we're gonna tie it down with three wrap strips. We also went her hair off camera and used a wide tooth comb just to define it some more, being that we had been manipulating it while we were installing it. We set her up on the dryer for about 25 minutes on high heat. And as you can see, the curls are defined. The lace is laid. The baby hairs are laid. The baby hairs are dry. Everything is giving. We don't have any red knots thanks to that color. Oops. Like, let's just get into it. We're going to put a lighter colored powder in her part just to make it more defined. And we're going to seal that off with some hairspray. And y'all, we're going to be pretty much done. But let's get into that scalp though for a second. Like, you just gotta trust Slay by Jordan. I will never steal you wrong. And you know, we gotta seal that hair off with some Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat to give the hair a what? A beautiful gloss. Let's get into that final look, y'all. Once again, I want to thank Carla Me Hair for sending me this bond wig. Make sure you check the description box below for more information and links on how to purchase your own wig. I have more content dropping all month long. Happy March. Love y'all. Goodbye.